To hit net zero by 2050, emerging and developing countries will need substantial amounts of additional renewable energy investment. So is clean energy just a matter of money? Not quite. But because domestic financial resources are limited, foreign direct investment or FDI is key. FDI unlocks funds for renewable energy projects like solar and wind energy. So how can these countries attract more FDI? Domestic policy choices have an important role to play. Countries with strong climate policies attract more FDI. Developing them further could triple the ratio of green investment to GDP. These policies alone could bring in as much as 40% of what's needed from private investors. And of course, potential financers are more motivated by a low risk, high reward return on their investment. Countries can lower risk and create ongoing revenue streams through power purchase agreements and feed-in tariffs. Investing in complementary public infrastructure, such as electricity grids, is also helpful. But more standard reforms also make a difference. Countries can support investment by fostering more openness when it comes to trade and capital accounts and improving the quality of financial institutions. For instance, Sub-Saharan Africa has immense potential for solar and wind power. But so far, turbines and panels have only just started to gain traction. What's holding them back? The high cost of initial investment and other structural constraints deter development of what would otherwise be a win-win opportunity, generate renewable electricity and help meet energy needs, all while driving economic growth and creating a return on investments. Investing just $25 billion every year into Africa's renewable sector could transform energy access, create jobs, boost electricity production by 18% and increase GDP growth by 0.8 percentage points each year over the next decade. Advanced economies have pledged at least $100 billion annually under the Copenhagen Accord to support the green transition. A new goal is expected at COP29 but that international cooperation will remain critical. Policies can drive significant change. Reforms in governance, the external sector and business regulations can boost climate finance and electricity generation. In Sub-Saharan Africa, ambitious reforms could increase climate finance by 20% and electricity generation by 7% over five years. Emerging and developing economies with strong climate policies are benefiting from increased foreign investment and a booming renewable energy sector. Investments in electric vehicles and green hydrogen are also rising, helped along by national strategies and international partnerships. The path to a sustainable future relies on smart investments, strategic policies and international cooperation. Together, we can unlock a sustainable future for emerging and developing economies, ensuring clean energy for generations to come. And we can offer every country an opportunity to thrive in the green revolution.